money from advertisers. But it's it's more of the thing, the idea that where the film goes is like this is a big spoiler, guys. If you're not looking for a spoiler of this film, like turn off, turn off for like five seconds, turn it down. <laughs> Oh, not five minutes, five minutes. And maybe you'll miss some, I don't know, skip some bits. <laughs> so basically, um, it's just the idea that it gets to the point at the end where he's basically staging the news, staging the crime. <laughs> like he's, okay. he know, like, uh, I don't want to give away the story, but he stages it basically. So it's kind of the idea where like, he makes the fake news. He's making the news happen okay. in the way how he wants it to happen okay. so he can profit from it. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And it's kind of like, it makes you think that that's basically what news outlets are doing. Like they, And it's more of the fact that they don't really care per se of where, how he obtained the footage. So long as it's good. Yeah, so long as it's good and so long as they can tell a narrative. Okay. And as long as, scary, and, yeah? and if they can tell a narrative with it, then they can put like, maybe instead of it just being one day bulletin, they can spread it over a week. Oh, you know what I mean? But dude, and you have know, people watching and keep them coming back yeah. to the station. It's all about the ratings really and truly. Well, well the most, the, the most we, um, I want you to see that, but the most recent thing that I think you and I can probably both see is when there was a thing of that little boy on the beach where it turned out the photographer first found him amongst the yeah, rocks yeah, and yeah. put his body in the middle of the beach because it would be more dramatic mm. so there's even stuff like that and it's just like yeah, really exactly things like, like that like, like highs and, and so that's only what we've heard of yeah you know what i mean who knows how much news everybody us and the people listening to the podcast has watched which is absolute rubbish absolute rubbish and, and, and how much we will never know whether it was rubbish or not yeah, we just yeah. basically have to hope that it's all right read more than one like what i try to do is i've got um i like both daily wire and like Huffington Post and it's just that so you don't get stuck in your echo chamber because I'm yeah, very yeah, bad yeah, at that yeah. way like I'd only follow pages I agreed with or whatever so now I try to follow even like, like Guardian or whatever I, I follow those and I read their pages um, just because you have to try to find the yeah. nugget of truth amongst yeah, all the exactly, different points exactly of views that, exactly that are going that. on and it's, but you know you, you also that, that's where people have got their own agency and <coughs> the, 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 the problem is with, with like the average news story on a day to day basis nobody really has um like the, the the time or the ones to um, sit and look up every single little fact that they read or meditate yeah. and everything that they've heard about, they'll just say shit. That's hectic. Yeah. And then and then it gets implanted in your mind, and then you tell somebody, then it's even more yeah. of a fact because yeah. they've heard yeah. it from a yeah. reputable source. Yeah, exactly. And, and so yeah, the problem is people don't have the time. You know what I mean? Like at least back in the day, but think about it like this: back in the day, when you and my grandparents got told a lie by the news. They, it was kind of forgivable because all they had was like a newspaper, just yeah. a piece of paper or something on the radio. Nowadays, we can fact check anything in real time and people still don't. And, and people still yeah. don't do it. It's like with, with the, the, the ability to do what we can do now, how yeah. aren't we more clued up than what our grandparents Yeah, were? I know. It doesn't make any sense. I, it's crazy, man. I was stumbling, stumbling over this thought about kind of human beings and intelligence kind of it, it, it's more of the thing that um, it feels like although we're so much more technolo technologically advanced in our time there's still things like from maybe the Egyptians time like the pyramids and stuff yeah. like that we still don't know how or not that we don't know how we can't replicate what they mm. were able to do back then now even with all our technology yep. so it, exactly it kind of, so it kind of begs the question if they were able to do that without our technology mm, mm, mm. <laughs> how smart were they yeah, I, I, I don't believe, right? <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy man and it's, it's actually very humbling to think about isn't it and, and, and I, I could be wrong yeah but I've heard that also they found um, whatever the workings out of pi in the equivalence of an Egyptian high school or something like that. Like how many years ago yeah. is that? They're really running with that. It's, it's even things like, uh, I don't know if you played the Assassin's Creed game. Uh -uh. Uh, I've, I've, yeah, I've seen it. I've the, seen it. Uh, there was one where I think he was in old Italy with Leonardo da Vinci and he was talking about all his inventions and all stuff right. like that. A lot of the inventions that he made are like modern day stuff that we have, like the plane and stuff like that. Yeah, it's yeah, just... Yeah back in his time he never had the technology to actually make his idea come to life, come to life. okay we now have the technology to make his ideas come to life okay, that's, pretty, okay. that's great that's great <laughs> yeah, like stand you know? up on the back of my neck man yeah it's kind of crazy it's, to think about it's, it's sad as well because you have to wonder why and like especially with like the leaps in science and all that kind of stuff i, I um was interviewing a dude a while ago a poem i was writing about religion <laughs> 
he was a Methodist chap, and we were speaking about what does he think is some of the biggest problems in the world right now, and he reckons uh, technology and internet, and the reason why he said that was he said back in the day, uh, a rock would have been the caveman crude tool, cave person crude tool, where they would have been able to make an axe and get firewood or chop off somebody's head. Nowadays we've got the iPad, which is just a modern day crude tool, which we can either use to teach somebody how to do a heart transplant in the middle of nowhere, you know, how to do it, or we'll sit on it instead of speak to our own friends. Mm -hmm. So I think humans are kind of falling victim to our own kind of ways. Yeah. Where even though we've got all this wonderful technology and all this wonderful education, we're still just gonna la lay in bed and watch um, Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. And that's yeah. as advanced as what we're gonna get by the looks of it. Is yeah. We're gonna end up like Wall-E. Yeah. You know it feels I mean? like we're just kind of getting lazier, or that we're just mm. building things to make our lives easier. easier. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And, it, and, it, and it's, it's crazy dude, because some, so, so, like, it's just going to carry on happening, yeah. and happening. And the more integrated that we get with the technology, that's it. It's like now we've got. Um, I was reading. Obviously, we've got Neuralink with Elon Musk and all that kind of stuff, where mm. we're basically just going to be literally online. But um, the more and more that happens, the closer and closer we start living with the technology and stuff like that think of and, and, and it starts becoming an extension of us then think of what kind of things we're going to do we're going to have either people are going to be super smart but still with human emotions they could yeah. just be evil geniuses or you're going to have people who are going to be able to create these worlds of complete luxury and, and like paradise and do nothing so it could it, it could yeah, go either way true. but yeah man who knows I think the Egyptians are a hell of a lot smarter yeah. than what we were man so I mean they had to do so much with what the little they had mm. at their time well what little that we know that they had yeah because <laughs> you know? like to, to us it just looks like they lived in the bloody sand with yeah, some rocks yeah, and camels yeah, for real. but they managed to do all sorts of they, they, they managed to figure out um the size of the earth and the circumference yeah. of the earth just by looking at the stars and stuff like that that's yeah, mad that's bro. crazy we, that's <laughs> mad. we can't do that now yeah, well, really? we probably can but like, I, I, I struggle to find my way home without city mapper bro yeah yeah you know exactly. what i'm saying okay and i live in london yeah. and, I, and i still struggle bro and these guys are doing mad stuff and they also had um they had an extremely they're, they're, they're pretty forward thinking in the sense that they had a very matriarchal society at stages with female pharaohs and yeah, right. like the boss and all that kind of stuff as well so it's like we've gone backwards <laughs> yeah. it's like things are like all, all of a sudden yeah. things seem to be tapering back or that like, might just be how they presented to I us know. but it does seem that but way but even with like kind of I don't know maybe equality more so maybe back in those times it seems like they were more with, I don't know, they saw humans as one race, maybe. I yeah. think so. I, I think what happens is, have you ever read Akala's book, uh, The Ruin of Empire? I, I have read Akala's book. It's, no. it's, it's, it's pretty good. There's some stuff there that got me a little bit hot under the collar, admittedly. Um, but there's a hell of a lot of stuff which I loved. And he speaks about um, the idea of people being racialized. And then this yeah. started to happen after colonialism. And like when you think about it, I'll be racialized. Is his lady like is like any other white lady said over there? Even though I'm like a dark dude, but and I'm I'm literally a different color, but we'll get racialized being the same race. Yeah, yeah. And 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 he reckons that all that stuff came about during the colonialism and yeah, that. Yeah, so maybe yeah, back yeah. in the day, people wouldn't have been all daft about like oh you're a different color. You know what I mean? Like just think about it for a second. It's actually extremely stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. so maybe back in the day they were just a little bit more. Um, be, be, because they hadn't overthought they had any of yeah. that kind of manipulation or, or, that, so. or that kind of like um, bad influence they were just like alright mate how are you doing kind yeah. of thing I think because it seems like if you know I don't know it was more to do with class as opposed to as money wise as opposed to what person's skin tone was mm. like if you don't have the riches then we might cast you down but if, mm. if you have it then yeah. come come chill cast would have been it. Yeah. and, 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 and uh, yeah so I think those definitely could have been things that have played a big part in it, but you have to think um, why did eventually then all come to an end and stuff like that. You yeah, know I have mean? no idea. If they, if, if they were like an appraisal, I've got the I've got the eye of Ra and back and the other little eye there. That's also their whole Egyptian religion mm. was supposed to be about focus, <coughs> and um, that's what the Lion King was um, loosely based off of. And other stories is that uh, Osiris grew woefully blind to the problems in his uh, society. Then he was killed by his brother Set put his organs all over the planet and yeah. his wife I Isis went to go find it took his scrotes and made old Horus or whatever his name was and then he came back and avenged his father and the whole thing was that you've got to have focus otherwise your whole society will crumble down around you hence it's in the back of your dollar bullet and all that kind of stuff Say but it still crumbled down around them somehow but saying that now from that perspective that kind of gets hidden in the Disney-fired Lion King 
<laughs> Slightly. <laughs> it's, like, it's like they rush over that. Yeah. At least like like they threw in Zuzu and that was a pretty good yeah. a pretty good shot there. But although in the new movie I think Zuzu's um, John Oliver was something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, any, action, yeah. Something like that. But yeah man, so the Egyptian thing it's it makes you think like if that culture was able to yeah. get wiped off. Imagine the one where people are freaking nowadays but like what like what could you say is, is general pop culture yeah, people are eating tide pods and like licking buns and all that kind of stuff and now they're yeah, no, right. saying it's like no dude if there's anything wrong if you want to go do that it's just like it isn't my thing and I, de- yeah. I, de- I definitely don't think it makes it seem in any way shape or form more sophisticated than the Egyptians no. if you consider the stuff that's going on in this day and age that's all true. it means is that we've got shiny stuff warm houses and tech but from a civility point of view and yeah don't get me wrong maybe the Egyptians were well worse and I'm just brushing over this lightly but with the amount of stuff that goes on today you can't think that we're much better yeah that's basically. true but, <coughs> uh, yeah man so, uh, so I don't even know we got into the Egyptians man nah it's cool man I like to go off on tangents might as well <laughs> <laughs> um, what, did you hear about the Jesse Smollett oh, thing yeah, man. that happened the, yeah. with the where you fake the head crime yeah, yeah. that's crazy man and uh, did you hear about how he was going to be Press it, press. He was going to have charges pressed against him, and then the charges were dropped. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. <laughs> it's, it's um, and also not only that, he didn't get his ten thousand dollars back. Which if you, which usually if you like let off into innocent, they give you ten thousand for bond yeah. or whatever it is. He didn't get that back, which is kind of like, hmm, yeah. I wonder why he didn't go to the nick. Yeah. And he parts it to ten k. But the thing that really pisses me off about this, bro, is that um, there's genuine. There is, unfortunately, no lack of hate crimes. Yeah. There's no lack of this. There's, there, that you do not have to go pay, and it turned out to be two dudes from Nigeria. Yeah, from, like, the, sh- from the show, extra from, from the, the show, show yeah. to, to to come in and do this. And when he walked into the hotel, apparently he still had the noose around his neck and he was eating a subway, trying to be like all nonchalant. I know, like and it's like, bro, there's people out there who are literally getting beat up, lynched for the reasons that yeah. you false, falsely claimed, and he only did this. Um, for his own political agenda, which he must be crazy to think that he has to try to convince people that there's a hate crime. Like, it's like, hey, mates, we all know. And it's more worse that you're kind of crying wolf, you know? It's crying wolf. And, and it discredits yeah. like, a, a lot of the stuff that's going to come forward from you because there's people who genuinely need to have their stories heard. Yeah. And, this, and, and this guy is probably some millionaire living in Silicon Valley, Hollywood. That guy is now going to um, throw, throw the cats amongst the pigeons. And I can tell you right now, for every decade, like, of the worst end of the demographic of like conservative right wing people who always be like oh these silly hate crimes yeah, so, you yeah, know yeah, what, what are these people complaining about being overly offended it gives them more ammunition to be like you see yeah. you see it's fake and that's and so he actually did yeah, the exactly. movement bad yeah. he did the movement bad if he wanted to do anything why, why doesn't he take his money and his wealth and go set up a sense for people that had hate crimes committed oh, against exactly. him and it's like all, all he does is give the bad guys ammunition to yeah, be like yeah, give this yeah. ticket and it's, it's, it's actually what's going on in this guy's mind that he actually imagine you sat there one night and you think let me text these blokes and organize a fake yeah, that's what thing I mean. what's going on in his life to think yeah. that that's a normal thing to do that's what I mean and the, and the other guys had to come forward and come clean themselves so they obviously felt bad doing yeah. it so he's, he's, he's effectively throwing these guys under the, the bus as well because yeah. they came out and said listen mate actually you know we don't they, they obviously second guessed it and thought yeah. maybe they don't want to be involved and now they look like dicks because of it yeah 100% and it's like come on bro this is what you're going to do to people who immigrate to a country for yeah. better life you're going to do that to them and it's kind of just more so it just seemed the whole thing seemed like a joke anyway from the drop because uh, like what racist person is watching Empire they're not <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Morgan said this recently but That's it's like true, true but, but w- w- yeah. they're, they're so, you know they're, they're so that racist they're like fuck you know what I'm gonna sit here and watch the whole season <laughs> well that season was good <laughs> I hate him still but that, that was good damn well, it just well you say three seasons I, I said it <laughs> I, I stay for the entertainment but after that I'll That's go it. back to hating them. I, I still hate them. I still hate them. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but that's the truth, bro, isn't it? It's, it's like, and I, until you said, I didn't actually think about that until you yeah. said it, to be quite honest with you, man, but I highly doubt there's any Nazi dude being like, yeah, let me all, all Red Lancer, let me watch that, that looks like it's just my show. It's like, nah, they're, they're, they're probably watching like movies from the 50s and yeah. the 60s and stuff like that, you know that's what I mean? mean <laughs> back when, before um, PC had a good positive influence on film and stuff like that, they, that's what they're watching. Yeah, like Not, they're invested into our culture. <laughs> So I, I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. And um, but and it's it's, it's going to one thing. It's probably going to be good for the series 
because that's given a lot of publicity towards yeah, that. Yeah, uh, bad pub. There's no, there's no such thing as bad publicity. It's all publicity. Yeah, it's all